streak. Holy moly. My car. My garage. The heart of wine country is drowning in damage after floodwaters drenched Sonoma County, killing at least one person who was swept away. More than 20 inches of rain pounded the area. Streets filled with murky, sewage-infested water. The Russian River swelled and then crested at more than 45 feet. That's the highest it's been in more than two decades. More than 2,000 homes have flooded along with countless cars. temperature six degrees shattering the old record of 14 back in 1978 we've never stayed any colder than 14 on the 3rd of March so a record there and then another record this morning minus five out at the airport breaking the old record of minus three also set 41 years ago so this truly is unprecedented cold for Denver Lewistown and Great Falls recorded their coldest temperature ever in the month of March Elk Park this morning got down to 46 degrees below zero never has Montana seen a temperature this cold in the month of March before? military flying over flooded Kandahar province on a mission to rescue 1,000 people trapped by floods. There's been heavy rain in Afghanistan and southern Pakistan for more than a week. On Saturday, flash floods swept through towns and villages across the region. Kandahar got half of its annual rainfall in just 30 hours. The destruction extends from Kandahar through six different provinces to Herat and Farah in the west. More than 500 homes have been damaged or destroyed, as well as schools, mosques and bridges. It was massive, engulfing Highway 91 in Colorado yesterday. At least four drivers were in their vehicles as the avalanche buried their cars in snow. Colorado's Department of Transportation says the avalanche was 100 yards wide and up to 15 feet deep. Earlier in the day, there were at least six other avalanches in Colorado, including one that ruptured a gas line. These avalanches come just days after this monster snow slide on Sunday that happened not far from here it swept vehicles off the road. Right now, there are four areas in Colorado's central mountains that are under the highest danger rating for avalanches. This is the first time that's happened since forecasts began back in 1970. It's coming right at us. Oh, wow. Let's go in. Come on in, bro. Come on in. Oh, shit.
The Mile High City hobbled by a powerful blizzard. With gusts nearing 100 miles an hour, the strongest storm in decades. The blinding snow creating whiteouts and hundreds of accidents. The system known as a bomb cyclone, a hurricane in winter.
devastating, truly devastating floods have hit the state of Nebraska. 74 cities, 65 counties in that state have declared emergencies. Well, this is the, the worst and most widespread flooding damage we've had in our state's history. Uh, this really is the biggest disaster as far as damage we've ever faced in our state. They think there may be as many as a million calves lost in Nebraska. That's, uh, that's catastrophic. And the historic Midwest floods are getting worse a week after that disaster started to unfold. A new levee breach yesterday on the Missouri River forced the evacuation of the entire town of Craig, Missouri in just hours. Officials now estimate the cost of the flooding in four states to be in the billions of dollars. In Hamburg, Iowa, nothing was spared. The homes and businesses of the nearly 1,200 people who live here were totally submerged. In some places, the flood water swallowed entire neighborhoods and washed away bridges. There goes the Mormon Canal Bridge right there. It just washed out. Swelled with rainwater and snow melt, the Missouri River crested to its third highest flood level on record. Record breaking late winter floods have led to statewide emergency declarations in Mississippi, Missouri, Nebraska, and Wisconsin. In Nebraska, flood water rendered roads and entire highway routes impassable. For farmers across Nebraska and Iowa, the record floods have been especially devastating, with many losing much of their livestock and last year's harvest. The Nebraska National Guard has taken to airdropping bales of hay, attempting to save horses and cattle trapped in flooded fields and at risk of starving to death. Dios mío, qué fuerte. Oh, Padre Celestial. Durísimo, está temblando durísimo. Así se mueven las cuerdas. Demasiado duro está temblando. Cyclone Trevor bears down on Lockhart. The 200 kilometer plus winds tossing wheelie bins around like confetti. Century old trees were uprooted. I've been, uh, you can bring up here for 22 years and I have never seen uh, the velocity and the strength of the wind that we had last time. This is Veronica's grand entrance. 
torrential rain pelting the Pilbara coast as the Category 3 cell sits in the Indian Ocean. The severe weather system is the biggest risk to this region in a decade. It's already dumped more than 179 millimetres of rain on Port Hedland, smashing a 30-year rain record.